Hello everyone, my name is Suman Dua and I'm a registered migration agent at Nationwide Migration and Education. We make videos every week in regards to Australian migration and if you are interested in this topic, you may wish to subscribe to our channel. In this video today, we will be giving you some updates regarding the 408 COVID pandemic visa. The most important update is that you can now bring your offshore members or family unit on 408 subsequent entrant visa. You can include members of the family unit in your application when you apply or make a subsequent entrant application in any account to add members of the family unit. You can do this after you lodge your application. Family members who apply with you must also meet health and character requirements. We have received successful grants for offshore spouse and dependents and if you need help with this visa, you may wish to book a consultation through our website. If you are a temporary graduate visa holder in Australia, you may apply for and be granted a pandemic event visa with a two-year period of stay instead of a temporary graduate visa extension if your temporary graduate visa expires before 1st of July 2023 you are not eligible to apply for a temporary graduate visa extension on 1st of July 2023. You currently have an unfinalized 408 pandemic event visa application and you held a temporary graduate visa at the time you made that application. Please note that if you are granted a 408 pandemic event visa, you will not be eligible to then apply separately for an extended 485 visa. So you should evaluate your options carefully before you apply. Now, most commonly asked question that we are getting is if you can travel overseas while awaiting the outcome on your COVID-19 pandemic event visa application. If you submit an application and leave Australia before the department makes a decision on it, make sure you hold a visa that allows you to return to Australia. Now, the next question that we keep getting is that can you change employers while awaiting the outcome on your COVID pandemic visa? Department has advised that due to the need for workers in Australia, they have temporarily implemented a less restrictive policy on condition 8107. Work limitation for the 408 visa holders, which allow them to work unrestricted. Now, COVID-19 pandemic event visa applicants may change employment and work for more than one employer, including self-employment. There is no need to contact the department to advise of changes in your employment. COVID-19 visa applicants working in Australia should continue to work while they wait for the outcome of their application. If you're no longer employed, you should find new employment or make arrangements to leave Australia. If you currently hold a COVID visa that is about to expire, you may be eligible for another COVID visa if you wish to remain in Australia to continue working in an Australian sector. We have successfully helped numerous clients with their second and third 408 COVID pandemic visa. Department has also advised that you can travel outside Australia and return multiple times as long as your COVID visa is in effect and you meet any travel requirements in place at the time you travel. Your COVID pandemic event visa grant notification letter may contain a must not arrive after date that is seven days from your visa grant date. This date will not seize your visa or change your visa duration if you depart Australia. Time spent outside Australia does not extend the visa period of stay in Australia. If you need any help with your 408 visa or the subsequent entrant COVID visa for the members of your family unit, please book a consultation through the link in the description below. If you have any questions in regards to Australian migration, please get in touch with us. You can book a consultation through our website, sumandua.com.au. If you would like to stay updated about Australian migration, please subscribe to our channel.